looking first at calculating the interior angles of polygons. I think this is actually the hardest bit of this section of maths, but it is a good idea to start with this. The formula for calculating the sum of interior angles is n minus 2 times by 180. n is the number of sides of your polygon. So if we have a regular pentagon, that has five sides. So we put that five into the formula, replacing the n. Put the rest of the formula in there. We now have five subtract two times by 180. So that's three times 180, which is 540. Remember that gives you the sum of all the angles in there. To work out what one angle is, because this is regular, they'll all be the same. So you would divide that 540 by the number of sides. 540 divided by 5 is 108. So each angle will be 108 degrees. Here's another one for you to try. This time you have a six-sided shape, a hexagon. It is a regular hexagon. See if you can work out the sum of the interior angles and then just that one angle indicated there. It has six sides, so we replace n with six in the formula. Six minus two times by 180. That's four times 180. That's 720. Remember, that's the sum of all the angles in the hexagon. We divide 720 by the number of sides. 720 divided by six is 120. So that one angle there is 120 degrees. Sometimes you're asked to show your knowledge of how the formula works. What you need to know, each polygon contains a certain number of triangles. Looking again at this hexagon, six sides, and it has triangles in there. So we separate it into the triangles. And you'll see that there's one, two, three, four triangles in that hexagon. The sum of angles of each of those triangles is 180 degrees. The number of triangles is always two fewer than the number of sides. So that's why we use the formula, the number of sides take away two, then times it by 180, because that's how many degrees there are in each of the triangles. If you want to pause the video and have a go at this, see if you can work out where the triangles are how many there are, and then use that information to work out the sum of the angles of this shape. Again, each polygon has a certain number of triangles. This is an eight-sided shape, an octagon, and if we divide it into the triangles, you'll see that we have one, two, three, four, five, six triangles in there. Each triangle's sum of angles is 180 degrees. And note that we have six triangles in there, which is two fewer than the number of sides. And a quick note, you might get irregular polygons. The sum of angles still works out the same. So we have an irregular six-sided shape here. And if we divide it into the triangles, you'll see that we still have one, two, three, four, two fewer than the number of sides. We can still work out the sum of the angles of this six-sided irregular polygon. But remember, if you're asked to identify one angle, you're going to need more information because you can't just divide the sum by the number of sides. So generally, this sort of question would look something like this. They'll give you the other angles. Sometimes they'll throw in a right angle, which will just be a square, but you just need to know that that's 90. And you work out the sum of angles for a hexagon, that's 720. Take away the angles that are there and you'll be able to work out the angle X, which is 140 degrees.